Hey guys, what is up? Check out this super awesome, really easy baby mesh. It's just chain two instead of double crochet. It makes for a really nice, lightweight, um, airy type of mesh that is perfect for a baby washcloth. Um, also, this could be really good for a sweater, a sweater sleeve, a bandana. I mean, the list goes on. So grab your favorite Tunisian crochet hook. For this project, I chose a size seven millimeter um, Tunisian crochet hook, and then I chose size four cotton yarn. Uh, but feel free to use whatever you would like. Uh, this calls for a chain of um, an uneven amount. And for the tutorial, we're gonna start off with a chain of nine. So I'll see you guys in just a sec with a chain of nine. All right, we have a chain of nine. So now we're just gonna pick up a loop in each chain. And you're gonna do this all the way to the end. Next, we'll follow through with the normal closing. Yarn over, pull up one loop, and then yarn over, pull through two loops, all the way down. All right, let's begin row one. Chain one. Skip the next bar. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the following vertical bar, horizontal loops. Pull up a loop. Chain two. One, two. Yarn over, skip the next bar, come to the following horizontal bar, I'm sorry, vertical bar and horizontal loops. Pull up a loop, chain two. When you get to the last stitch, you're gonna yarn over twice and do a double crochet. I'll meet you right back here. All right, so we've reached the end. You have one and then your last stitch space. So you're gonna yarn over twice. One, two. And just follow through with a double crochet. Okay, this is how row one is gonna look. Always make sure you count, you know, I just wanna have the right amount of stitches. So we've got one, two, three, whoops, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're right on track. We have the right amount of stitches. From here, you're just gonna do a normal closing. So yarn over, pull up one, yarn over, pull through two loops all the way down. Okay, we're ready to start row two. Just like row one, <clears throat> chain one, you're gonna skip your long stitch here that just kinda hangs by itself and you're gonna come over to your next vertical bar, which is actually the second chain in your chain two from the row below. So you're gonna yarn over, insert your hook into vertical bar and horizontal loops. Pull up a loop and chain two. Yarn over, skip your long bar, come over to the same stitch as before. Chain two. Whoops. And then you follow all the way to the end. When you get over here to your eight stitch, your last stitch space here, you're gonna do a double yarn over, just like before. I'll meet you right back here. 
Okie doke. We're at the end, so you're going to yarn over twice. Insert your hook into the last space. And just do a double crochet. Follow through with the normal closing. I'll meet you right back here. All right, so this is how you do it. Just a repeat of row two, normal closing for every row, and just chain an odd number and you'll be good to go. Hey, that was a poem I didn't even know. Ha! Okay, um, anyways, so if you guys are ready for some really awesome mesh that's super easy, super beginner, um, give this one a shot. And like I said, it's great for sweaters, sweater sleeves, shawls, scarves. I mean, you know, the list goes on and on. Thank you guys so much for spending a few minutes of your day with me. I'll chit chat with you soon. Bye.